a very, very Choshiva guest and dear friend, Rav Zechari. Are you there? Shalom Aleichem, Rabbi Weiss. How are you? Aleichem Shalom, Rabbi Wallerstein. You know, it's always a pleasure to speak with you. Uh, I am an avid fan of all the work that you do. And uh, if, for those that don't know, Rabbi Wallerstein is a major pioneer of Kirov in his own right. Uh, Ornava has changed the way things work in Flatbush and in Brooklyn. And uh, Rabbi uh, Wallerstein is also does amazing work up in the Catskills. I marvel at what you accomplished, Rabbi Wallerstein. Hashem should give you koyach. Oh, uh, man, you are forever wise. I am one of your avid supporters, and, and I listen to your shirim, and some of my shirim are based on your shirim. So. Well, thank you very much. Uh, Rabbi, R- Rabbi Wallerstein is based at the yeshiva of Crown Heights in Mill Basin, and uh, oh, that is one of the great feeder yeshivas of Ura, am I correct? Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Well, you have, uh, you have a hands-on and, uh, you know, you have a hands-on relationship with URA. So, you know, we're trying to raise money for URA. What could you tell our thousands of listeners about the work that URA does? Okay, so I've been a Rebbe in Kranach Shiva Mill Basin, which is on East 63rd Street and Avenue U, the Kenasi area, uh, Mill Basin area, for the last 32 years. And um, URA has helped us in two ways. One, that we have many, you know, most of our, most of, the people in our yeshiva are kids that are coming from non, totally non-religious homes. And um, I guess in each home it's a battle of whether they should go to yeshiva or they should go to public school. And part of that battle is tuition. And uh, a lot of them are Israelis who come from Israel. And in Israel, the public schools, there is no tuition. And they hear the public school, there is no tuition. So the first time they, hear, they walk into yeshiva and find out that you have to pay, um, many of them, are, you know, lose their interest. Ura has helped many of the, our children that are in the yeshiva um, with their tuitions. And, and really, if Ura would not have stepped in, I would say a lot of these children, girls and boys, um, from early childhood through eighth grade, wouldn't be in yeshiva today. Yeah, so um, every dollar, you know, the, the, the Rav was saying before, um, that, you know, uh, every dollar, you know, helps Ura, but um, even the people who don't win tonight at 3 o'clock when they, you know, when they call out the prizes, everyone should know that you def- definitely have won a prize. That's for sure. Probably much, not probably, for sure, a much greater prize than any material prize that could be won tonight is the prize of being a partner with Ura and in turn being a partner um, with all these kids. And if you change one of these kids' lives and end up marrying Jewish people and having Jewish kids, dairy, 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 you just they'll be just sending you FedEx is, you know, uh, for your investment. So Rabbi, Rabbi Wallerstein, Rabbi Wallerstein, we have a lot of listeners out there, you know, because we're broadcasting on WABC and in Toronto and in Chicago and Cleveland and Miami. There are people out there, believe it or not, that are hearing the name Ura for the first time. You know, Ura, they're asking me for my money. Uh, do I know if I could trust this organization, if they have integrity? I mean, you've been dealing with Rabbi Mintz for a long while. Uh, what could you tell the people about the integrity of this organization? Um, the integrity is on the highest level. They check out. Um, they don't just throw money around. Every family that we request, you know, help, they, they, they check into them and to make sure that the money is really needed. Um, I have to say that um, camp-wise, many of our children are we sent to their girls' zone and their boys' zone, and uh, I don't have to tell anyone out there, even in Toronto, wherever you are, what it means, uh, the difference between a child being in the city and a child being in camp. And I have this course, the honor of being in girls' zone, of speaking in girls' zone uh, this year. It was the first time I was there. I was absolutely astonished. Um, first of all, at the camp, it is absolutely gorgeous. But I have to say that I've been in camps, you know, all my life, and there's always kids laying around, not in a good mood, you know, with, with uh, their faces down on the ground, playing games, you know, their, their, their handheld games, and not really interested in camp. Wherever I walked in girls' home, everybody was dancing and hopping and smiling and happy, but I, I, had, I gave a share. I was, other people were giving share. They were all smiling. They were playing ball. There were a bunch of kids going on a trip. 
So um, I, I didn't see Boys Zone, but I know some of the people that work there. And it just, it, it seems to be they know what they're doing because all the kids, I, I really walked through the whole camp. I didn't see one kid sitting and playing, you know, one of these handheld electronic games. Everybody was the simple. You know, so, before, uh, before we continue, really Rabbi Wallerstein, just your voice, your, you, you know, you have such a charismatic voice, the lines are all full. So we have to give our listeners extra lines. So there's the local number, 732-415-7402. There's also an extra line that was just added. And that's, write this down, put it in your Palm Pilot, 732-719-8135. That's 732-719-8135. And of course... Ura.org, that's the way to go. You know, you never get a busy signal if you go on Ura.org. Rabbi Wallerstein, you know, you're, you're Baruch Hashem, a person of passion, and I think that you've connected with the passion associated with Girl Zone. I know that uh, Rabbi Mintz was thrilled that you went up to the camp and spoke there, and uh, we look forward to your involvement in Ura in the, in the future. Uh, and, and everybody here, uh, Kantri Yossi, myself, and of course, Rav Mintz, wants to wish you at in all your endeavors. You should have the kayak and the, uh, and the continued uh, uh, vitality and dynamism to continue your work for Klal Yisrael. Thank you very much. You should all have a lot of at and uh, just uh, keep time to everyone. They should just know that even if they don't win a prize at 3 o'clock, they won a very huge prize by helping Ura, helping Klal Yisrael, and Bezrat Hashem bringing Mashiach. Thank you, and have a good Tavach.